Morocha. Today I'm going to show you how I made this robe mirror using an affordable mirror from IKEA. IKEA Langensand mirror, half inch by seven feet rope, one cabinet knot, two eyeballs with nuts, a spray paint, scissors, a drill, chalk paint in all white, graphite and cocoa. Paint the mirror any color you like. I got this Langon Sun mirror on sale at IKEA for $10. It's also available in white for $29.99. I want you to learn from my mistakes. In the beginning, I thought covering the mirror to paint the frame was the best way. But I was wrong and I didn't realize my mistake until the end when I removed the painter tape and there was still a small blue ring around it, which the mirror reflected. My best advice if you are using the IKEA mirror is to remove the mirror from the frame. I wish I had done this from the beginning. Removing the mirror from the frame was easy. The mirror was attached to the frame with glue. I used a hair dryer to soften the glue and then remove the mirror. This is how it looked after I painted. Mark three points in the frame. This point is aligned with the hole to hang the mirror. These are the points where the holes are going to be made. My husband helped me with this part of the project. First, drill a pilot hole using a small bit. Then switch the bit to match the thickness of the eye bolt. In case you don't have a drill or you don't want to make holes in the frame, you could glue the eyeballs or the ring next to the mirror or put them straight into the wall. Place the eyeball and secure it with a nut. My husband cut the excess length. Paint it to match the rest of the frame. Now I'm going to use a piece of rope. You can buy rope from the hardware store. However, I recommend getting one from the craft store. It just looks nicer. Pass the rope through the hole and tie it. Tie the end with a piece of twine. Add a dab of hot glue. As you can see, I've already tied the rope to both sides. Now I'm going to place the knot into the wall. The mirror is going to be held by a screw that goes here. The rope and knot are just decorative elements. 
Here is after I realized my mistake and removed the mirror to paint it again. Instead of gold, I changed my mind and I went for a wooden look. For this I used chalk paint in all white, graphite and cocoa. First I gave it two coats of chalk paint in all white mixed with a little water, but it would have been better if I skipped the water. Let it dry. Then add a coat of chalk paint in graphite and let it dry. Lastly, add a coat of chalk paint in cocoa and let it dry. This is the end result. I used the dry brush technique and added some light white strokes for dimension using chalk paint in all white. Now I'm going to put the mirror and rope back onto the frame. To prevent the rope from looking saggy, I used two tiny nails. I hope you like this project. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. If you made this project, don't forget to share a picture on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscription button, tag the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.